Module 3, the last module in this training program, will cover the Ampact Hot Stick Kit. The Ampact Hot Stick Kit makes it possible to adapt Ampact tools to standard commercial hot stick equipment. When used in hotline applications, the Ampact tool permits the installer to work parallel to a line instead of across it, thereby reducing exposure to dangerous, energized lines. Components of the Ampact hot stick kit include a geared breech cap adapted with a ring that fits the shotgun stick. The entire assembly turns as the stick is twisted. The tool holder is needed for both the small and large tool heads. The C holder tightly holds the C member in position for placement on the through wire. Two 90 degree adapters are used with the tool holder and wedge holder. The wedge holder secures the wedge for positioning it in the C member. The piggyback clamp holds wires in position for application on the tap. The last item in the kit is the hammer, which is used to seat the wedge into the C member and also to fire the tool. A large C and wedge holder and a large piggyback clamp are necessary for conductor sizes 795 and larger. To prepare the Ampac tool for a hot stick application, first select the proper tool holder, either small or large. The tool holder is attached to the hot stick as shown. The 90 degree adapter can be used with the tool holder to achieve the best working position. The tool is clamped in the holder as shown. Remove the standard breech cap, load the tool with a correct color coded shell, and screw on the geared breech cap. To begin installation, the piggyback clamp must be used to install the tap wire into the bottom groove. Two methods are recommended. Using the standard method, clamp the tap wire in the bottom guide below the through wire. Then clamp the through wire into the top guide. An alternate method is to clamp the tap wire into the top guide above the through wire. Then clamp the through wire into the bottom guide. Your shotgun stick should be used to apply the clamp. To assemble the C-holder, install the 90-degree adapter to the wedge holder and attach it to the C-holder. Slip the C-member into the C-holder and tighten the eye bolt. Place the wide end of the wedge into the wedge holder with the wedge grooves oriented properly in relation to the through and tap wire. Tighten the wedge holder bolt. Position the tap wire in the bottom groove of the C-member and push up to hook the C-member over the through wire. The tap should be located 6 to 10 inches away from the piggyback clamp with the narrow end of the C toward the clamp. Twist the shotgun stick to loosen the C-holder from the C-member. To position the wedge, place the wedge between the wires and into the wide end of the C-member. Strike the wedge holder with the hammer to temporarily secure it in the C. Loosen the wedge holding bolt with the rubber end of the hammer and remove the wedge holder. The tap is now in position for firing. An alternate method for positioning the wedge eliminates the need to cut the end of the tap wire after applying the tap. Tape the end of the tap wire to prevent strands from opening and apply the piggyback clamp 8 to 12 inches from the end of the tap wire. Locate the C-member 6 to 10 inches from the clamp. Make sure that the narrow end of the C is toward the clamp. Bend the end of the tap wire down and use the hammer to temporarily secure the wedge into the C-member. The tool can now be loaded with the correct color-coded shell required for applying the tap. We are using a blue-coated tap. The tool must be loaded before being positioned onto the tap. Loading procedures are the same as for the glove method outlined in Module 1 of this program. The tool is also positioned according to the same procedures as the glove method. Once the tool is in the position, the assembly is made self-supporting by twisting the shotgun stick clockwise.
To fire the tool, strike the breech cap with the rubber end of the hammer. Release the gas by turning the shotgun stick counterclockwise. To apply the stirrup, pick up the bale using the shotgun stick. Hook the seam member on the through line as shown and remove the shotgun stick. Attach the 90 degree adapter and wedge holder to the hot stick. Insert the wide end of the wedge into the wedge holder and tighten. Next, insert the wedge into the seam member and tap the C onto the wedge using the hammer. This completes the last module of the Ampac Tap System Training Program.